and... Funkin' Bonkery! Funkin' <laughs> Bonkery. It's me, uh, Twiggle. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're playing Sonic Classic Heroes today, which is just kind of like a little Heck combined. Yeah. It's a combination of Sonic 1 and 2, and you can play Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles all together in it. I think I had this game. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, so it's just me Long and... Time. uh it's just me and uh, and Bex today. Uh, yes. hey, what are our options here? Who are who are we playing with today? We're gonna have um, you know. Let's just let's do a, let's start a new game. I just want Sonic and Tails. <laughs> you know, it would be really funny is if uh, for the title card you just like superimposed my face with with these glasses on like this. <laughs> what glasses? Oh yes. Oh, oh. Over tails. We're, wearing your wearing your sunglasses upside down like Chet from Noobs. Yes. All right. Well, we're gonna play. Uh, do we just play Sonic the Hedgehog one? Here we go. That that little uh, just plain old Sonic. Kind of looks like a face uh -huh. in the background there. It's kind of like a ooh. Face. <laughs> <laughs> so now, what was that uh, you were saying before? Honkin' bonkin' stonkery was. <laughs> like that's that's now an adjective oh, to describe something. Oh, yeah. We we you, you came up with a new you came up with a new catchphrase, but uh, just shortly before we started, but I don't recall what it was now. Honkin' bonkin' stumpy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, today tonight we've got uh, it's just me and Bex. Jazz uh, Jazz is feeling a little sickly. And Chris just vanished off the face of the earth. We don't know what happened. He he was looking for a snack, and then his refrigerator just consumed him. So we're <laughs> hoping he returns. Consumed. <laughs> we're we're hoping he returns, but you know, there's no there's no promise of that. So you gotta work with what didn't, you got. Did you lose your marbles at? <laughs> the dryer ate no, it was Jazz. Jazz lost it at the dryer ate you. <laughs> you said yeah. You said that the dryer ate me. <laughs> yeah, I did. And for some reason that had Jazz just on the floor. <laughs> it was funny. It was, it was so stupid. <laughs> Once again on the subject of uh <laughs> on the subject of comedy comedy routines you guys should look up. Look up the uh the Muppet show furniture news report guys it's really really funny just uh just me that. it's really funny uh, also i remember i realized that uh, i looked it up the the kids in the hall sketch that i mentioned the other day look up uh kids in the hall casual robbery that's the name of the sketch it's really funny that sounds hilarious it's incredibly that funny that was inc that was incredibly satisfying what the heck <laughs> I keep almost swearing, and I gotta remember how this is a kid <laughs> show. <laughs> and yeah, once you really get the hang of like playing Sonic and know how to like do some of those little loops and tricks, it, it can have a very satisfying effect. I was awful at Sonic. Were you? Oh, you know what? Hold oh, on yeah. a second. I just realized I'm probably recording. Oh no, I'm, I'm doing all right. I thought maybe it was recording for the okay. wrong microphone. Microphone for a minute there. Never mind. <laughs> Now, Sonic, Sonic, and Mario have always been my jam. Both of them. I've always loved both franchises. Yeah, you, you seem to really love Robotnik there. I do. And, Don't and, and Eggman creeping into the closet <laughs> of many, many Tumblr posts. I'm creeping my way into your heart! <laughs> or like my closet, Mr. Eggman. <laughs> hey, the, the way to a man's heart is, is through his stomach. The, the way to a fan's heart is through closet, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine what a nightmare that would be if you like woke up in the middle of the night and there's just that big fat sausage nose and little sunglasses staring at you over there. I have like a mirror like closet sliding door <laughs> to the right of me and it's like slightly open <laughs> imagining like just his nose you <laughs> should... out nothing but his nose oh so you should print out the picture of dr robotnik so it looks like he's always like leaning out <laughs> looking oh at god, you oh my god i should <laughs> oh my god i absolutely you know what I'll, I'll i'll do one better i'll make it like a like a 3d paper thing uh-huh yeah, I'll take the paper and I'll like fold it into his nose, <laughs> like a template or something. Like a little, like a little paper craft kind of thing. 
Yeah, paper card. That's what they're called. So this is another one of those things I think is really cool about this particular hack, is not only did they add Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles all being playable, but they added the power-ups from the later games, and you can switch between characters. So if you lose a shield, you can switch to another member of your team, and you still got a shield waiting for you, which I think is a old, pretty fun little tails trick. Boy. Yeah, everyone loves tails, and if they don't, they should die. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't, they should perish. <laughs> you don't love tails. You are no yeah. friend of mine, sir. <laughs> Look at that. You he flies. Beautiful. How can you not love that? Although not switching to Sonic, because that's right. <laughs> Yeah, you done me good. <laughs> <laughs> you done me good. Mm -hmm. right, come on, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I got. I want to. I want to tell the story of the craft dinner in the bathroom. <laughs> the craft. The craft dinner in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> What sort of Canadianry is this? No, the craft dinner in the mail. Uh, <laughs> what? Yeah. How did you get it bathroom? I don't know. All the, the, you gotta, mail. You've got to wait for Chris to return to our plane of existence to tell that story. It's funnier with you. You know what? It's true. Because he's the one who said it. <laughs> Although we could just sit back and talk about how much we love craft dinner, eh? <laughs> yeah, we can talk about how much I think, we love craft dinner. I think you were wanting me to I think you were wanting me to do my McKenzie brothers voice <laughs> earlier before anyway. We'll just get yeah. drunk and fight for a while. <laughs> we'll just get drunk and fight for a while. Yeah. I mean it's the Canadian way, eh? <laughs> it is quite literally like exactly what happened <laughs> in this town. <laughs> The street bums get drunk and they fight each other, and that's it. That's and everyone all else, they do. say, and everyone else gathers around to watch. I'm guessing. I <laughs> just picked up a Cheerio with my toes. <laughs> you just picked up a Cheerio with your toes. Yeah. It was. I didn't know what it was until I I had it in my fingers. <laughs> I don't know if for, I eat it. for a second, I legitimately <laughs> thought you were going to say I didn't even know what it was until I had it in my mouth, <laughs> which I think would have made it even funnier. <laughs> You're just picking up strange things from the floor and just shoving it in your gob. <laughs> yes, I am real man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I want something else to do. Uh, upside down sun glarses. Sun <laughs> Sometimes saying something really stupid is really funny. Oh, absolutely. That's why I have that's why I have vaudeville do it in my comics. So he like mangles his words sometimes. I mean, like yes. Oink. Yeah, exactly. Oink. Joyzy. Or like, what was it when he said? Um, oh gosh, what was it? Pronunci pronunciation or something like that. Pronunciation. I mean, admittedly, yeah, like I kind of steal it from the way Popeye does it in like the comics and cartoons. But even then, Popeye doing it is also hilarious. It's just something because really it's funny. Classic. Well, it's one of those things like I've pointed out to people before. There are certain quirks that like they are either extremely annoying or extremely endearing, depending on who does it. So, like, the way Popeye, like, screws up the way he talks, because you like Popeye, it's the most charming thing in the world. But if someone you don't like talks that way, it's the most irritating thing ever. It really is. Like, it all depends on who it is, why it is. It's hard to explain. It's like, yeah, Popeye or Vaudeville does it, but then you see someone, like, twice, like, like basic Twilight doing it. it's like stop messing no, with No, take that back because basic Twilight doing it would also be absolutely hilarious. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, darn it, there go my rings. Oh no, the wrongs. The wrongs. Wrongs. <laughs> the wrong. Why is my jump button not working there? Your button wasn't buttoning. My my button wasn't buttoning. <laughs> oh man, I had a, I had a really. Stupid thought come to my head, and I can't remember what it was now. <laughs> well, 
I was about to say what was it, but then that of course defies oh, the explanation. Man, I right? Oh yeah. <laughs> man, I can't remember that thing I wanted to say. Gee, wh what was it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually never. <laughs> um, I don't know what the, like the bridge the, the the bridge of your nose is called. Like <laughs> the bridge the bridge of your nose thing is just called the bridge of your nose. I, I thought it was called like the spatula or something. The spatula. <laughs> no, no, the septum. Septum. <laughs> oh yeah. No, yeah. that's that's this. That's that's not the, the septum is, is what you get your nose pierced with. Yeah. No, I remember that because like, like the, I think it's like my. One of the... I think the doctor said one time I have like a slightly deviated septum or something like it's slightly crooked, but like not enough to like be a problem or whatever. Yeah, mine's not exactly. It's not a problem, but mine's not exact. I have one nostril bigger than yeah. the other. Well, I mean, like everyone, everyone's you know body is slightly lopsided one way or the other, but like. But anyway, so you're saying something about your septum now? What about it? No, not my. No, like, it's quite literally like a bridge of the, like where the glasses sit on. Mm -hmm. I was just about to say, that feels really weird with how I have my sentences on. Oh. I call it a spatula, like an idiot. <laughs> spatula. Ah, oh, Doug got oh, it. I think it's, I think it's, it's scap scapula. Scapula. Or is that wrong? Scapula. That wrong the, the scapula is a bone. I don't remember which one it is, though. Oh. Oh. But it's definitely not the spatula. Okay. It's the spatula. Maybe I don't know more. Me spatular! <laughs> With part porch and starboard attachments! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that first episode's a classic. <laughs> I had a lot of fun watching, um... I love watching, like, older shows and stuff with my kids on DVD. They always... they, I, I It's definitely one of those things where, like... I, I'm a person, like, while I certainly love nostalgic things, I'm playing Sonic and enjoy it, <laughs> I'm not someone who, like, they're view is like clouded by nostalgia i can definitely look back and go no the stuff i had as a kid was pretty crummy and stuff you know um but i i it is reassuring when i look back at my old shows and movies and stuff i've got on dvd and my kids will watch them with me and they've like straight up been like dad how come your stuff was so much better when you were a kid <laughs> Like, I love straight that up, like, my my son in particular um, loves Looney Tunes. He thinks it is one of the funniest cartoon series. Oh, I love Looney Tunes. And uh, apparently they watched, um, they watched Space Jam 2. And the girls were like, Space Jam 2 was so funny. And Isaac the whole time is like, eh, well, no. <laughs> and they're talking about well, it. Well, no. And he's like, well, no. And they're talking about it, like, but this and this happens. And the whole time Isaac's like... Yeah, that's not Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes is way funnier than that. <laughs> and like, this is like an eleven-year-old. He's already got it figured out. He he got you for a day. He's the same way. Like again, my um, uh, Gwendolyn loves. Um, she likes the Animaniacs reboot, and she will talk about it when they visit. And every time Isaac just kind of groans and rolls his eyes and he's always like oh Gwendolyn if you no, if you see the original Animaniacs you'll know why the new one's so bad <laughs> he's like saying this like some jaded adult he's like no the, the original's so much better <laughs> you know what you know what's funny what I imagine mm -hmm. is um Isaac having your exact voice when he's saying these things <laughs> he just suddenly has an adult's voice <laughs> He is An funny, though, about man. it. He is funny, though, about it, because he'll be like, oh, it's so much better. And, like, Jazz will mention stuff about her, but, like, because they, um, Gwen wanted to watch, like, some of her playthrough of Animaniacs. And it's like, they made a video yeah. game of it? And I was like, yeah, hon, it was, you know, it was a cartoon when I was a kid. So, you know, they had, like, a Sega Genesis game, a Super Nintendo game. And she's watching it, and she's like, who are these characters? Like, they were from the original versions and stuff. And Isaac the whole time was like, oh my gosh, yes, those cartoons are so funny. He's like, Dad, can we put on the old DVDs? <laughs> just, I'm like, yes, absolutely. I am proud of you, my son. Without a second thought. <laughs>